so cold this is me if you even care oh my god it's so cold welcome to this vlog <laughs> this vlog good morning i actually had a pretty productive morning I kind of saw it i don't really know if i filmed a lot of it i don't really know what i have planned either but i just decided to start talking um great barrel Oh yes, we might be going to Crate and Barrel and we went to Home Goods and Target yesterday just to like start looking at home stuff and I got a picture as you saw because I made lemon water in my little pitcher. Took some salmon, we ate. I didn't make any coffee, nor did I take. Actually, oh my God, great integration. This video is actually sponsored by Care Of, so let me take my little vitamins and maybe make some coffee. I don't know if I want that yet. Let's take my vitamins. If you guys don't know what Care of is, it's a subscription service that sends like high quality vitamins, powder supplements all to your door every month. And I have been taking them, but here, wait, I'll show you my little setup. Look how cute, you just pull it out of here. Wait, 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 you just pull it out of here. Boop. Pretty much what you do is you take a short quiz. It literally took me like three minutes, maybe even less, I'm not even sure. It's super cute, super easy, and they just ask you a bunch of questions about what your goals are. So it's cool because these, like the ones I'm taking every day are like personalized for me and it says my name on it adorable and the packaging is super nice too because it's sustainable they're made from like a plant-based film which makes it compostable they also have cute little quotes on it and i just read mine it says it's hard to choose one talent i'm good at a lot of things peppa pig and one of the ones that i've been liking is a probiotic blend because that helps with gut health which is something that i'm really trying to focus on it helps um like naturally regulate your digestive system but i also have been really liking the keratin one which is for like skin hair nails all of that and who doesn't want all three of those things being healthier so you can go and take care of's quiz to see what vitamins and supplements help your goals um, and you can also click the link down below and use my code to get 50% off of your first order. I've actually really enjoyed incorporating this into my morning routine. It's like a really fun thing to look forward to. So definitely notice like less hair fallout. I definitely feel less bloated. Overall, I feel healthier. Care of actually also has an app that helps you build a routine, track how you're feeling, and play back insights about your results over time so you can adjust your routine as your needs change. I'm gonna take these. Oh my God, wait. My lemon water. Hold on, I'm gonna refill it. All right, I'm gonna take these and then we're gonna get on with our day. Somehow we're at the beach. Wait, can you I don't know let how. Them know that I have shorts on? I'm just putting sweatpants Haley, on Haley, I will let you know. <laughs> Haley does have shorts on. She's just putting sweatpants on over it. We are going to the beach, but it's January. It's still it's the last day of January. January 31st. Paige is in town and we're meeting her Guys, at the beach. Like, I'm gonna look like a slut. Oh, I thought you were gonna say a sloth, and I was like, why? Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go.
Okay, <laughs> hi. I just didn't. Sorry, my room was like silent, and now all of a sudden I'm talking, so I just felt weird. Wait, what was I gonna say? I was gonna explain something. Oh, oh, where what you're about to see? We went to Paige's husband's concert. He is an artist. He sings with his twin brother, and we went to their little show in Malibu. It was incredible. Um, I don't think I can really add a lot of their music, so I might get copyrighted, but I'll add a little bit. Um, they blew me away. I was thoroughly impressed. I enjoyed my time. It was like my perfect night. A perfect day, honestly. We went to the beach and then we went to this like cool venue and performers and they were headlining it, which was incredible. Um, but here's that clip. I just, I didn't vlog transition, so I felt the need to explain. But anyway, hope you're enjoying this. I miss you. I woke up, I showered, got some coffee, did my makeup, and I'm feeling good. I also got these new sweatpants. Hold on. These from Urban. I also got them in black. I kind of love them. I don't know. I feel like I haven't spoken in this vlog, so I wanted to like talk. But I, the vacuum's making me angry. Now I'm in my room. And I actually do have... Where's my... Oh, I'm sitting on my computer. I need to order more hangers because I have a bunch of stuff that needs to be hung. And I'm using like pink and blue hangers right now. I have been, oh my god, what do my ears need to pop? I have been looking for an apartment on Zillow for probably about a solid three months. It is so aggravating because why is it so difficult? Like, of course, like the one that you want, there's something like, no, I'm not gonna say that. 
everything always works out for me. I'm going to get my dream apartment and it's going to be easy and it's going to be amazing. I have been so stressed out recently, just about, I've been so busy, so overwhelmed and so stressed, and I'm not a procrastinator ever, but recently, and I am, have to kick, I'm not getting in this habit, I've got to kick this habit because I will not be a procrastinator, it's the worst. Normally, I'm like, when I need to get something done, I get it done, but like the last like two or three days, I've just been putting things off, and that is not like me, and I cannot let that be me because that will get out of hand, and it's, okay. Okay, actually, maybe I needed this, maybe I needed to say this out loud, so it really, because I have been in such a weird mood, honestly, for the last like two weeks. Weird mood per se, but like I just have not felt like myself. No, like not like that. That sounds dramatic. That does sound dramatic. I just like my makeup's not like sitting right. Oh, you know what it probably is? I normally for the last, okay, wait, wait. Okay, now I'm excited. See, I was in a bad mood, but then I started talking. I, for side hustle, wore extensions like the hair and makeup people the hair person she did my hair and i i i wish that she was doing it now because i actually like how she did it now but back then i was like she would tease it and i'd be like get get your hands off me I'd, i would like i hated it but she put extensions in and i was like girl like i love my hair like don't put extensions in it but she would and it would look so much better and then i found myself doing everything that she did on set now like i would like tease the back and like I'd want it like, then I'd want it long, like all of that. And I was like, wow, like she was doing, she was doing what looked good and I didn't even know it. But beside the point, so ever since then, it like, it, they were clip-ins by the way. Like I, they she would take them out, put them back in. Ever since then, well actually no. Okay, I'm terrible at telling stories. I didn't wear them for a while, but then I was like, actually, let me try these again. Cause she gave them to me after we were done with the show. She was like, she said, throw them in the trash because she knew that I did not. I would rip them out of my hair for some reason. I don't even know why. They looked amazing. Anyway, so there was this one time that I was like, yep, yeah, put these in. And I and I started just putting them in every day. And then for like a year, I put in clip-in extensions every single day. Well, actually, don't tell anyone this, okay? This stays between us, okay? Me and you, do not tell anyone. I used to for the last... Okay, actually, no, this is like kind of recent. <laughs> Probably in the last like three months I stopped doing this, maybe four, I would sleep in them and just like, oh my God, I, that's like so bad for your hair. And this is why I'm saying this. I would just like sleep in them. I'd take them out. I'd wash my hair. I'd wash the extensions like every other time. Like they were not like dirty by any means, but then I would just put them in. Like I just would just keep them in there. But then I was like, I don't know why I started taking them out. I just started taking them out to sleep and then I'd put them in. But then because like some days I would just not put them in, then I kind of like stop doing it and then i made the decision just to like dude you've got to stop because i think it's summer like i'm like i don't think i had them maybe it wasn't a full year because i don't think i had them last summer i was wearing them that often because like going in the ocean and like in and out of water it's like probably terrible for them so i don't think i had it last summer but i'm like thinking about this summer and haley has got the most my sister beautiful long fast growing thick hair and i got jealous she wore it down the other day and i was not the other day like a month ago and i was like lucky Lucky, like, I wish I could do that and it'd still be long. I mean, I could, but it would just, like, feel weird. Anyway, beside the point, I think the reason why I feel so unlike myself is because for the last, like, maybe, like, weeks, maybe not even, maybe, like, week, I haven't felt like myself because I stopped putting them in. And now my hair's, like, short and, like, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I also, okay, oh, my God, I have so much to say all the time. It doesn't look bad by any means. I'm just like really not used to no extensions. And I've just always had naturally had like thinner hair. Like I have a lot of it, but just like the actual strands are like so thin. I loved those extensions. And I'm really trying not to put them in. I might do it like for like nights out type thing. I don't know. But, so I'm trying, I'm on a little hair journey. I kind of, but, but it's throwing me off because normally like I'm so used to like having like long hair. But like for summer, that's gonna be so bad. And like, I, sh I, I shouldn't, but it's really hard. Like I really want to put them in, but I'm trying not to, but I was gonna say something. Oh, I know I'm gonna live so many different lives. And right now I'm in my LA life. I'm in, I'm gonna get an apartment with like a view. I'm gonna have a little city life. This is my, this is my year of that, you know, like fashion model LA type thing. But I know that there's gonna be one time where I'm traveling a lot. I do like a Europe summer 
or something like that where I'm like in and out of like water is what I'm trying to say is because I'm gonna cut my hair to like here. I know it because it's easier. Like once you get out of the water, it dries, not a lot to deal with. I don't even care if it looks good or not. I just know that like when I'm in that little era of like traveling and going, 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 going and in and out of water and tanning and I'm gonna cut my hair and I'm gonna live in a cute little beach house and have short hair. I don't, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, oh, I do know where I was going with this. I was saying, I just don't feel like myself. Like I look, I don't know. I don't know, something's off and I don't know why. I don't know, maybe I need, my eyeliner's like not doing what I want it to do. I've just been so overwhelmed and so stressed out. <laughs> I'm normally not like that. I'm also reading three books at the same time and maybe that's stressing me out because they're all like so different. I'm reading, oh my God, Matt's calling me. Hold on, my manager's calling me. Let me take this, one second. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I don't know, something's off. I also think that like, I just got off the phone with Matt and like, we're talking about apartment stuff and that is stressing me out. Like nobody wants, nobody cares about being nice to people. Everyone's just so mean and I'm not having a very good time. Apartment hunting in LA might be the worst thing to ever exist. Um. Oh, I think I was gonna talk about my books. I'm reading Icebreakers, Icebreaker covered so i don't really know which one it is i'm also reading normal people and i'm also reading and copperhead um i'm literally like three chapters in on this i'm probably about halfway on this and then i'm about three quarters away on this because i said that's pretty much the order i started them in and they're all so different i did not realize that this was as smut as it was i thought it was just like a cute little story about hockey players and figure skaters but oh my god I, you cannot read that out in public this is genius so far. Um, but I just, because I'm reading two other books, it's taking me a second to like finish. And then this, I literally just started, but the writing's actually really incredible. So in the first three chapters at least. So I don't know. I mean, just everything is stressing me out. And I don't know if I need to like just sit in my bed and like not, I can't though. I cannot think about nothing. Like I'll be like, I have to do this, I have to do this. I am like, go, go. But yet I've been procrastinating for the last like two days. Plus Paige was in town. She just left this morning. So like maybe like it was that because I wanted to hang out with her, but I also wanted to get, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when I'm like going crazy. I also like normally have like a great social life, but I have like completely put that out the window. I think this apartment thing is like really getting into my head. Like I'm like in this like waiting zone of that. Like I feel like I'm like in between a chapter like this to go to like the new chapter. It's such a funny analogy, but no, like i like dying i'm like actually dying but my social life is what i was talking about i haven't seen anyone in a week which is crazy like not even delilah like i'm gonna see delilah tonight but for today but besides that like i was had plans last night to go to like Damon busters with people but i like literally canceled because i was like i can't i have so much to do everything's gonna be fine every little thing gonna be all right yeah i also just don't know what's gonna get me out i think moving i think moving is gonna get me out of this like i'm ready to like do all of it making me so mad that people are being so mean to me <laughs> everything always works out everything always works out why is everything so expensive like why do i i don't want to spend money that's not fair like not a spender like i'm not and like thinking about like no maybe i just don't like i'm scared like nowhere to live that i like like i'm too picky but i like kind of got it in my head that i was gonna like move out in like a month so like now that i'm don't even have a place i'm like eh. this is just so funny i'm having a good time just like so many bad places in la so many places that i'm like i cannot live there like i'm gonna cry every night because i'm scared devastating devastating is a crazy word that i'm about to use but like it is like heartbreaking when you like find a place and then it doesn't work out and you have to go back to zillow it's like starting over like after you like break up with someone you have to like start over that's how i feel right now like i feel like i just went through a breakup with the apartment that i really wanted and i'm like having to like go back on like a dating app and find out that's how I feel. But honestly, even worse. <laughs> like this is a big heartbreak for me. Like, cause there's so many ugly houses or ugly apartments. Just like there's so many ugly people on it. <laughs> this is the worst. You know why? Say it with me. Everything always works out for us. My back hurts. I don't know, I just missed you guys. So I wanted to like sit down and talk and vent and because I haven't seen another person in a week. So I've got to talk. You know that whole like ex analogy. Like I, I think I might go back to my ex apartment. I just looked at it again and it's so good. Just like drama now, like it's like tainted. <laughs> Did that just fall off? That's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing.
it's like it's tainted like they they were mean to me and i'm gonna have to like walk past them every day but like the apartment's like so good it's kind of toxic like i want it even more now <laughs> no but it's so pretty here's my thing now listen to me see something that you want and you think you can have it now and then you can't have that now but you want it even more now that you can't have it that's how i feel and i want to decorate i know exactly how i want the place i know exactly how i want this place like the place my ex apartment i'm gonna start calling it. i know exactly how i want to decorate it and it's killing me. i this is all i've been thinking about maybe that's what's stressing me out i don't know i just feel so weird without my extensions and the moving and everything's just weird okay i'm gonna cry like this is like big girl stuff here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go because if i don't i'm gonna go crazy i will update you on this apartment thing Maybe just put some words of affirmation down in the comments. Some manifesting for me in this apartment. Actually, actually, that's a great idea. Please manifest this for me. And I love you. And thank you for watching this. I'm not sure if this one was, I don't know. I haven't edited. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you somewhere soon. <laughs> Bye, I love you.